Hey everybody, Hayden Dingman here for PC World, and I'm here with Adam Patrick Murray. Hey, that's me. We are here to check out the Vortex. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh, Adam. Oh, it says right there, I'm Vortex. I'm so glad you asked. Wait, they forgot the E. Uh, so, we got this in a couple weeks ago. Uh, I wanna say what, I'm gonna say how this works. Okay, uh, yeah. I got an email, uh -huh. it said, hey, we made a device that while you're playing video games, shoots wind on your face. And I said, yes, please send this immediately. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. So we got one. Um, it does exactly what they told me it did. Okay. Uh, whether that's a good thing or not, um, I'm not quite sure. I've been using it uh, for a couple of weeks now, mostly uh, Battlefield. Great example of a thing to yeah. use it in. Good game, good game. Um, you can see over here we have a power cable. We also have a USB cable that hooks us into the actual PC. Uh -huh. uh, much like the Logitech G560 speakers that we reviewed uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, it's reading the screen. Uh, that's what the USB cable is for. It's screen sampling to figure out um, not just whether there's movement, but also the color of the screen because this thing doesn't just shoot air on you, Adam. Oh, oh it can it does, shoot oh, wow. hot air oh, on you. Oh, goodness, great! Like a, a nice warm fart. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> it uh, if it sees the color red on the screen, it shoots hot air on you. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's not the most sophisticated algorithm. Um, okay. Yesterday when I was playing Battlefield, uh, for anybody who's played Battlefield 5, there are moments where you are like parachuting out of a plane, okay. and there's yeah. a red light next to the door, oh. uh, and it started shooting hot air on me because it thought it was a fire. Um, okay, well, so, but this isn't enabled at the game level, like developers No, this don't is system level, this. This so is... that's sort of a, so I guess uh, the history of the company, I looked into this a bit, they actually wanted it to be like a developer thing, like you would make custom cues for this, but who and then they that? were like, yeah, nobody's yeah. gonna <laughs> do that. So instead it has this system-wide, like it's just reading the monitor output and then trying to match it to what's going on. Okay. Um, it's not very successful. It's also incredibly loud. Uh, it's basically, oh. I mean, it's seriously, it's just a space heater. Uh, and as I said to Adam before we started recording, it's a very attractive space yeah, heater. Yeah, yeah. Like if you Seems needed, well made, right? Yeah, if you needed it, just a space heater for your desk, like maybe oh, your look, office it's, it's is cold. Angles yeah, too. you can angle it. Look at that. If you were just like working in an office, only up and down. Um, we can actually pull up the software here. Uh, you can just turn on the heater full blast, and you can just have this working as a space heater day after day. Um, oh, it doesn't smell great. Yeah, I don't know how efficient it would be either, but like you can do it. Um, yeah, you can also just have a fan if you want. Probably also not very efficient. But is it supposed to be cold or is it just like uh, cycling room cold. temperature? Yeah, I think it's room temperature. Oh, okay, well that doesn't. Uh, but we'll <laughs> jump over. Uh, we can. We can. Oh, that smell. That yeah, it's a, it's a little. A yeah, it's a little chemically, huh? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> nice plastic, like pl plastic pieces of burning in so, there. So yeah, we uh, pulled up the software over here. You can adjust the heat intensity. You can adjust the color of the LEDs on the front. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah. also you get this sweet. Underglow, Underglow, like we're in need yeah. for speed. Hey, you know what? When you put RGB on anything, it makes it better. Right? Yeah, we'll leave it on this. This oh, it changed back to blue. Uh, anyways, we'll jump into Battlefield. I'll just demo this for you. Uh, okay. The thing that I have found. Don't, don't do the jumping one. <laughs> uh, no, I was gonna do this. Uh, the the intro. Okay. Uh, we'll just play on easy for our own sake. Whoa. Uh, the thing that I have found with this is that when it works, it's kind of cool, okay. but it works maybe 25% of the time. Wait, wait, define working? Like um, like, like when you're sprinting the in the actual game. Cues, yeah, when yeah. you're sprinting oh, okay. in the game, you get like a cool breeze on your face, like kind of okay. cool, or like if a tank blows up and then you get like the red Rush. hot air on okay. you, very cool, uh, or very hot, I guess. <laughs> um, I but yeah, it works like maybe 25% of the time, and the rest mm. of the time it's just kind of, uh, just shooting air on you. So the the example that I love, um, if you if you just leave it on all day, uh -huh. and you're using a browser, whenever you scroll the browser window, it'll just go like, vroom, vroom, <laughs> because it thinks there's motion. <laughs> you know, hey, it's a feel. It's a way to feel connected to your yeah. content. Yeah. You so know? I've had to like turn it off literally every time that I'm not using mm. it. It also like makes a kind of a, a high pitched humming noise, mm. uh, which is very annoying mm. when you're sitting there at your uh, at your desk. Well, what's the optimal distance? Where where do they uh, want you to put this on Just about here. Your like I think the maximum is six feet, but like three feet. So is like about right what next to your monitor. Yeah, pretty much. And the problem is, and this is really my biggest issue with it. Mm -hmm. It's so loud. Uh, okay. um, so if you're using headphones at home, 
totally fine. Like you probably won't notice it. Okay. But if we're just like we're gonna be sitting here and it's gonna oh, go I in just, a second. I just felt a little. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, oh, oh, because of the red. Because yeah, it's seen the seen the oh. red. Man, you get, that you get smells. Some nice heat. Yeah, I, I see some things moving inside too. Um, we're some getting little levers. We're, 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 there's no way for us to ever skip this cutscene. Oh, apparently. good. Apparently, so that's fine. We're stuck in it forever. If you're using headphones, it's totally fine. But there we go. <laughs> there we Full go. Full blast. It's so loud. It's like, like how do you play a video game while that thing's going? Yeah. Right. Jeez. How are you feeling? Uh, Get yeah, a little breeze. I, that smell. I'm having a hard time with the smell. I'm sorry. Uh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mm, yeah. So Adam, do you think it would enhance your video game? <laughs> Potentially, probably not. <laughs> uh, no. Well, listen, hey, for $20 I'll try anything. Yeah. How, how much for, does this cost? Well, uh, not $20. Oh, okay. uh, six times that amount. Oh, goodness. No. Uh, Vortex is $120. $120 just for this. Yeah. Mm. I don't know what the going rate for a space heater is. Uh, but it seems a little expensive, maybe. <laughs> you could just put this, yeah, underneath, turn on the space yeah, heater. Yeah, you know, I, yeah again, I don't know how efficient it is. It's probably not as good as an actual space heater, but like you could do that. You know, I could see you pairing it with your gaming chair and that, that thing that kind of rumbles you back, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. So you get, you get the, the impact of bullet shots. Well, and, then and that's the thing is like, the wind I, rushing. I love the idea of this. And like, that's why when they reached out to us and they said, hey, we want to send you one of these to test out. Absolutely. Because I think, and and I think that you would agree, mm -hmm. one of the weak spots in PC gaming is haptics. Like even oh, yeah. on even on the console, you get like the rumble on the controller and obviously you can plug a controller into the PC, but like yeah. generally you're playing mouse and keyboard. Mouse and keyboard Physical still feedback, yeah, to this just... day has no rumble. I think SteelSeries mm -hmm. tried with like the Rival 500, they put rumble in the mouse. <laughs> um, but like generally we're still in the dark ages as far as haptics yeah, come. Yeah, pretty much. And, then when people do make like, hey, we're gonna put some haptic feedback into a into a game or whatever, or into a, a PC peripheral, I mean, it's always like a, a weird prototype, like a low tech piece of garbage. I that you're like, oh, yeah. I honestly wish that I didn't have this. Wait, so what happens if you just whip the camera around? Oh, yep. Get a little oh, wind. You see the light. Hey, you want me to go over to this fire right here? Mm. How's that oh, heat? Yeah. Oh, you can even hear the gears. Yeah. That... Wait, why did it? <laughs> it just kicked up there. Oh, here's that heat. Do you hear that little? Yeah, that's it. I'm telling you, it's loud, Adam. <laughs> I wasn't joking. Are you getting that hot air? Oh, yeah, man. It's oh. just, uh, oh. it's so nice. It's just wafting over Yeah, really me. refreshing. Yeah, I love it. So, yeah. Especially I, intermixed with then cool blasts, warm blasts. Yeah, and it, that you, is loud. Yeah, it's very that loud. Is loud. That's what I'm telling you, man. It's, <laughs> it's incredibly distracting while you're trying to play video games. Uh. But like, when it works, it's kind of cool. Like, you get that cool breeze while you're running. You're like, oh, this is kind of well, nice. It, oh, okay. Explosion just triggered it. But, yep. but when you're running in the game, it's not really. Uh, it depends. I think it's having a hard time because it's dark here, so uh, I can't tell okay. that you're sprinting as easily. Um, well, because I... yeah, like during the uh, during a multiplayer match, I'll usually I'll usually have a nice breeze on me. Uh, you're gonna probably gonna get a hot blast oh, here yeah. in a second. Mm, hot blast. But yeah, let's uh, let's just let's just kill this for a bit. Okay. I think I think you've had enough yeah. shooting in the face. Yeah. Yeah. The, the problem I think is I really want haptics to be good in PC yeah. gaming. Yeah. And I think the Vortex is a cool step because it looks like an actual product. Like that's that's probably my favorite thing about Vortex. It looks like somebody really cared about this, right? Like they. Yeah. They put work into the logo. They put work into the, the box that this thing comes in. I mean, it's got lighting. It looks like a thing that you can actually buy. Whereas, like a lot of the the prototypes I've used over the years have been like, "Hey, we made these gloves that just have like loose wires dangling off of them. Do you want to try these out?" <laughs> I really want haptics to catch on on the PC. Okay. I don't think that this is getting us there yet. Oh, and that price, that's a lot to swallow. Yeah, 120 for like a like a gimmick, and then. That noise. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. smell, from what I've heard, eventually kind of dies okay. down. Yeah. In fact, it's already died down from what it was when I first oh, opened really? it. Yeah, I, it was, I didn't want to smell it. It then. filled my room with some yeah. hot, hot chemical yeah. smell. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's a cool experiment. I wish that it was a little bit of a better experiment. I guess. Uh, I'm curious to see where they go with it. They've said like, "Hey, this is our proof of concept, sort of." Now we're gonna like work on it to see where what, we go. Was this go. crowdfunded or is this? Uh, I don't think so. No? I think oh, okay. they just put it out. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure on that. I could be wrong. 120 dollars. Yeah, 120 bucks. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's Vortex. Uh, there it is.
It's, you did it. It's we intriguing. It. I, I wish it were better. It was just too fun not to bring yeah, it. Yeah, no, this this is fun. This this is a good way to to end the to end the year with a uh, yeah, we're with uh, a nice little gimmick like this. This is something that'll get you excited for CES because this is the kind of stuff that shows. Oh up yeah, CES. we got and, and it'll you're gonna find one of these under your tree, Adam. I think uh, this is your Christmas Goody present. Goody. Now that I'm done oh, with wow. it. Uh oh. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I, yeah. for PC World, I'm Hayden Dingman. Thank you again, Adam, for putting up with getting blasted in the face. And uh, we'll see you soon. We'll see you.